sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay. I know it's been so long since I've done any kind of Mech Warrior videos, but I have still been playing the game from time to time. I've just been very busy. But I'm running my Shadowhawk. This one, I really haven't upgraded it much from my original videos of the Pocket Battleship concept where I highlighted it. I've gone from machine guns to the heavy machine guns. So it gives it just a little bit more power for close in, which is what this mech is designed for. The basic concept, in case you've not caught any of my other videos on Pocket Battleship, is as much speed as is practical with as much firepower as possible. With the basic thought being, if you can't outgun it, you can outrun it, and anything that can catch you, you can outgun. Obviously, we're on River City, and I am basically probing around the flanks. Uh, this battle was a very good illustration of hit and run. It wasn't perfect. I did make a few little mistakes, but in general, it was a very good illustration. Now, I'm starting off doing a little bit of long-range tagging. Uh, just, you don't want to rush in with a build like this. You don't want to run out on a flank and run in there because you're not sure what you're running into, and if you hit a uh, heavy force, you can take a lot of damage and get torn up really quick. So really, I want to see how the enemy is deployed and how my team is handling it. What they are they doing? So I'm just going to hold back a little bit, do some sniping, let both sides commit to the force. Then I plan on either running around to the other side, because I do have 101 kph available, so that's pretty good speed. If uh, any of their fast mechs try to run in, I can jump them and tear them up. If any lone mechs come in, I want to be able to uh, flank and uh, get in their back. I'm just doing some basically long-range tagging. Letting him know somebody's over here. Do a little bit of harassment. Don't want to do too much to draw attention. I don't want to get too isolated. Because if a bunch of fast mechs run up and jump me, I could run into some a lot of trouble. Kind of following around this other mech. See if he needs a support. Again, I'm not rushing into battle. Don't want to commit right away. See what's going on. And a lot of battles like this, just a lot of downtime where you're not really doing too much, and so it makes for really exciting parts of the video. But I'm realizing there's not going to be an opportunity to exploit the flank, at least that flank, so I'm pulling back, using my speed to reposition. Basically going to run around to the other side, see what's going on. In a maneuvering brawl, this mech really does well. So I'm trying to see if I can create that type of situation where I can get in behind them. There's other mechs swirling around. Okay, so I've run around, crossed the bridge. Didn't really see much activity, so circled around behind them. And this is where it starts to get interesting. I don't believe they know that I have gotten behind their lines. I'm also not alone. Now it's just a matter of start maneuvering around the buildings and just hit and run. See how much damage I can do to a mech. The other uh, rest of my team is basically uh, pushed across and driving in. Of course, running a mech like this, you are going to be a little hot. And you want it to be, because you're not designed for a slugfest, you're designed for a hit and run. Just such a target rich environment, I couldn't resist. Target destroyed. 
have taken some internal damage. I tend to want to stand and deliver too much. I really need to hit and run more. Try to drop a little bit of heat. At least shut down where I'm not going to be too exposed. Seems everyone else is pretty tore up like me. And it's basically just see if you can chase down a target and fire into it. It just become a free for all. The enforcer's trying to run away. No real coordination, it's just a maneuver and shoot. We only two alive. That's what you need to get. Ignore the enforcer he has no ammo. Look at that missile. Something that probably would have served me better is a little bit more of a just keep moving and just fire when I'm running past something. And that probably would have served me a little bit better in this match. Nonetheless, over 900 damage. Not shabby for a 55 ton match. Thank you.